The 1838 San Andreas earthquake is believed to be a rupture along the northern part of the San Andreas Fault in June 1838. It affected approximately 100 kilometers (62 miles) of the fault from the San Francisco Peninsula to the Santa Cruz Mountains. It was a strong earthquake with an estimated moment magnitude of 6.8 to 7.2, making it one of the largest known earthquakes in California. The region was lightly populated at the time, although structural damage was reported in San Francisco, Oakland, and Monterey. It is unknown whether there were fatalities. Based on geological sampling, the fault created approximately 1.5 meters (5.0 feet) of slip. For years, another large earthquake was said to have occurred 2 years earlier on June 10, 1836, along the Hayward Fault. However, this is now believed to be referring to the 1838 San Andreas earthquake. There is no evidence a large earthquake hit the region in 1836. History of faulting incidents Topic Earthquake ruptures along Hayward Fault and San Andreas Fault Not to be mistaken, the Hayward Fault 1836 earthquake was speculated to have the similar effects of the San Andreas Fault earthquake. The Hayward Fault was reported in the affected cities, Santa Clara, and the east of San Francisco Bay. Prior to 1838 and the inception of 1776 Mission San Francisco Dolores, there had been no reported evidence of earthquakes. The post-1600 earthquake ruptures along several faults were depicted by records of the infrastructure in missions damaged, which were historically significant for evaluating evidence of earthquakes in the San Francisco Bay Area. The previous stress fractures were inferred in 1650–1770, while the M. Reports of experienced earthquakes In June 1838, ground rupture probably occurred on the San Andreas Fault at least from near Lone Mountain, south of San Francisco, toward Mission Santa Clara. The earthquake was destructive in the East Bay at San Leandro and Mission San Jose. The faulting was narrated as a greater intensity than the 1906 earthquake, due to its damages to redwood trees and large extent aftershocks felt in Oakland and Monterey. Due to the numerous widely felt aftershocks, the rupture along Hayward Fault was probably influenced by the San Andreas Fault earthquake and not indicative of being 1836, as no reported damage was indicated by people living near Oakland. While memoirs evidently appeared in the newspaper following the 1868 Hayward earthquake, the 1838 earthquake was narrated as a more destructive earthquake than the 1868 earthquake. Sightings of earthquake destruction of East Bay were described partially in the Sonoma Democrat, the 14th of October 1865 article. It was unquestionably the most severe that has been experienced since the advent of Americans here, but not comparable to the one which occurred about the year 1838, which shook down thick walls adobe houses, and caused mountainsides to slide down. At that time the adobe house of Estudillo, an old settler in Alameda County, was thrown down and a large portion of a mountainside, near San Leandro, gave way and slid down to its base. The place where the slide occurred is plainly visible from the town of San Leandro. But the shaking up we received, last Sunday 8th, was quite sufficient to satisfy the present inhabitants. The amount of damage must be very large, though it will probably never be known. Besides a number of buildings which were ruined in San Francisco, there are a great many others badly cracked and otherwise injured. Topic intensity earthquake The 1838 San Andreas earthquake was a fault rupture that extended from San Francisco to San Juan Bautista. Since the South Francisco Bay is at the center of three plate boundary fault zones, many occurrences of earthquakes of magnitude. See also List of earthquakes in California List of earthquakes in the United States List of historical earthquakes